Welcome, Dr. Steve, to New York City. Dr. Steve is back. You're wearing the Beats, huh? Yeah. Beat headphones? Yeah. Yeah. Don't they? They they make everybody sound very (laughs) bassy. Thank you, my friend. And they're very heavy on your head. Yeah. They They suck. What's going on, Dr. Steve? No. I've uh, just been hanging out, doing podcasts with Bobby Kelly and a couple people. Oh, uh, Oh, you went and saw Bob Kelly before you saw us. Yeah. I see what's going on here. (laughs) Bobby. Save Friday. Uh, Well, Bob has that policy. You know what, dude? You got to do me before O&A, dude. And that's that. I see what's going on. Bob put his foot down. Yeah. Um, Were you guys talking about somebody who was jizzing across the the room earlier this morning? Yes. Yes. A friend of mine who I hung out with. (laughs) Uh, Nicole's uh, ex-boyfriend, Nicole from uh, the Mash down the hall there uh was talking about how she would watch her boyfriend jack off in bed because she was fascinated by how far he could shoot that may actually be a sign of a medical condition wow yeah. why, why does everything have to be a one? medical condition <laughs> it doesn't well i mean why you know, can't why it just be here <laughs> holy fuck you could do that yeah what's the uh, medical condition it's called uh, urethral stenosis and what it is is it's <laughs> narrowing of the urethra which oh. is the you know the cock tube it's like kinking a hose and, a little bit yeah you remember Putting when your you were thumb a kid? over the hose to make it squirt further yes and uh wow. when these people jizz uh wow. the 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 opening is narrowed and so there's high pressure behind oh, it and they can shit. they can jizz wow. for uh several feet is that a bad uh, condition to have not or? necessarily now it's only needs to be treated if you also have trouble urinating can you have oh. cement put in your urethra so you can come farther <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who would I want that i don't have that condition because when it comes out like lava yeah, yeah. oh no it blurbs over <laughs> your yeah, blurb. Blurb. oh no it's over I get me too it just kind of goes oh, <laughs> God. Oh. yeah i could come and then it fucking in the in the morning after morning sex and then like at dinner it'll dribble down my yeah. leg <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't come i go <laughs> Dr. Chip. <laughs> oh, Dr. Chip is here. Yeah. Uh, what about me, Ruth? Oh, God. Holy fucking you got to do your medical show at 10 o'clock today, man. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, yeah, because yeah, okay. people are already calling with their problems. So really? Why don't we, out, why don't we do it at 10 o'clock? Sorry, Sam. You're out. You're out. Maybe I can help. <laughs> yeah, we got to have a special Dr. Steve hour today. Yeah, Sam and I have uh, hey, we what, did that last time. Oh, hey, yeah. uh, your, your ex wife. Yeah. We were talking about ABBA or ABBA. I don't know. I think I say. <laughs> no, ABBA. it was Al- Alanis Morissette. Yeah. Was, oh, Alanis Morissette was right. the thing. Jagged Little Pill. J- oh, all right. Jagged Little Pill. And you had a little story about that? Well, I mean, it's not a little story. It's mm. just uh, she would she would play that album at 11 oh, when we were in the midst of splitting up. I'd have to come downstairs and hear that shit. Oh, because, God. And it was just sort of a passive aggressive. Yes. Aggressive, aggressive way of just, you know, saying I'm an asshole without her having to say. Uh, uh-huh. So yeah, it's just yes, you know, yes. Bad memories. Every every home. day she would put it oh, on. Every every day it went for weeks and weeks and weeks. What song really got to you? That wow. th- that was the that big one. Um, you know? Yeah, you ought to know. know. Yeah, yeah. No. Do you ever suck your pecker so. in a theater? No, no, no. <laughs> you, you know, hypothetically, like, uh, when you, uh, you know, if I just said hypothetically, I knew somebody who uh, had a, a wife who, uh, you know, took all the money that was supposed to go to taxes and, mm. I don't know, used it to move her boyfriend from California to <laughs> closer by and say that, tell her husband that it was her boss, uh-huh. and then that husband cooked Thanksgiving dinner for that motherfucker two years in a row. Oh, you know. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jesus. I'm just saying hypothetically. Mitch Hi- Kumstein, wait, wait, wait. right? Is that who that guy was? <laughs> hypothetically, so she, so there's a guy that she moves closer, but you, this person gets suspicious, and she says, oh, it's just my boss. Yeah. And then he, this person is in this guy's house. Yeah, oh. the and then it gets to the point where this guy cooks Thanksgiving for for the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's a nice guy. Oh, God. why would Should poison that fucking thing? <laughs> but why would the the wife uh, uh, want to take that type of a chance? Well, one person may be made a lot more money than the other person did, so uh-huh. you know, so it was a little easier to just you know suck off of one teat oh, and then how did this whoa. how did this guy find out that it was more than what she said it was uh well let's just say one day you don't get your uh um uh tax 
uh, rebate that you were oh, told no. that you were getting. And you call the IRS thinking, well, maybe somebody uh, took the 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 rebate sure. and uh, and just spent it themselves. And you call the IRS and you say, I never got my um, my. Uh, refund and they say well maybe what a, that's what a coincidence yeah what a coincidence we uh, didn't get <laughs> maybe it's because you haven't filed in three years right wow. and uh, oh, we were just getting ready to call you because we're going to garnish your wages oh, oh wow <laughs> so <laughs> wow so so you know then you know this hypothetical person goes to the bank to say i need to borrow x amount of dollars so i can pay back the irs and they say, well, now we can't give it to you because you now have a bad credit rating because apparently there's been a bunch of credit cards taken out in your name that never got paid for. So, wow. So did this guy have to pay alimony in the end? Oh, yeah. 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 And wow. All, and all did he get debt. any of that money back that she took? No, no. Wow. No. That never happens. I know. I and, just, you know, just want to make it hurt for if, this guy. If, if he's you're listening today. Yeah. <laughs> if, you're, if your dad passes away and leaves you some money and then it hits a certain account that has two people's name on it, that person gets half of that, too. Wow. Right, so there you go. Oh, no. Yeah. So there's more to it but now I'm i don't very doubt. uncomfortable uh, i, I know <laughs> a guy that my had friend. a lot of money taken from a bank account uh, also <laughs> i know and I know. his uh, ex-wife at the time uh wife um but she knew you know shenanigans was going on used to blast god smack go away <laughs> that was that, that was her song. <laughs> that was her song and she'd sing it right into my face loudly. Oh, oh I said, my, uh-oh, mystery gone. This is a brand new story. I yes, love the brand yes. new stories instead of the ones you've told before. And I have to make <laughs> yeah, believe yeah, I'm yeah. hearing it for the first time. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. It's the magic of radio, Dr. Steve. You'll right, learn that right, someday. Right. She'd be like, yeah, go away. Are you serious? Oh, am I ever serious? Yes, yes, yes. We were all and into Godsmack at one point. She wound up getting the round Godsmack logo as a, like, tramp stamp, too. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's great. Oh, my hands are getting sweaty. Oh, like are they? Flop sweat. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, oh. that's your glands or something. <laughs> <laughs> Releasing perspiration. <laughs> touching your pants. <laughs> <laughs> that's called cool flutters. <laughs> <laughs> Did you break it down, though, this go away thing? Like yeah. you would just be getting up for the day? Or how, how would it come about every day? It oh, could, no, that would be lovely because I would be awake. I'm talking 2.30 in the morning <laughs> as I'm asleep. <laughs> I would just hear like the floor rumbling and fucking God smack go away is blasting downstairs. And I'm just like this fucking, I got to go to sleep. I got work in the morning. See, that's why I'm from the school that Anthony should be able to do whatever the fuck he wants. Yeah. Cause yeah, I was, oh I was, a, I saw a lot of this shit. Oh uh, yeah. I had to get out of there. And what, I, and you, you would just what? lean down as you're sleeping and start singing it to you? Well, I would get up and be like, you got to turn that shit down. Go away. Why wouldn't Iraq play the song? Um, Iraq's guess... really slow today. No, What's going on with Iraq? I thought it was called "Go Away," but it's really called "Whatever," so I couldn't. Well, find it. yeah, uh, everyone knows uh, what song looking... it is. It's the Godsmack's biggest song. The big dummy didn't know. Yeah. It's fair enough. I didn't know either. Give me a little flashback. Yeah, I'd be laying in bed I like, "Fucking love this and song, I'm like, though, man." What the? What the fuck? It's two in the morning. I, I love this fucking, fucking thing. This whole album's amazing. Holy shit, I gotta play this today. I get up, like, what are you doing? All <laughs> slurring. I don't like you. I don't need you today. You're all wild. Yeah. Well, I did fucking go away. Yes. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to bring half my money with me. <laughs> yeah, she would this scream is your this. Part. This is your part. Yeah. This is your part. Uh, you guys could have had a little fucking sing-along with each other. Quack, quack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we had our share of sing-alongs. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, this song would just be blasting. Oh, and then, like, her half-crying, half-angry face contorted as she's yelling this into my face. <laughs> Man, I felt true hatred. Yeah. And then she got the little tramp stamp.
That's funny. So <laughs> way. Yeah. Gold smack. Got gold smack. Got smack did rock. Where's uh, God smack these days? I don't know. You don't I hear as it, much. Haven't heard anything from. Yeah, him. I think it finally much. like. It finally that kind of settled music down a little bit. Kind of went away. It went away. Yes. I really enjoyed uh, Sully's solo project, but it was good. It wasn't, right? Yeah, it wasn't for the masses, though. I don't think. Yeah. But very cool. Very cool. Uh, melodic, acoustic, mm. with a with a broad that sings damn well as as well. That's Whatever. great. Great, great voice. You could fucking play drums. Dr. Steve's got a case with him, and I, we're going to get really busy, so we should okay. try to ask the him. The case what, that gave me. What's, what's the case? Well, yeah. First time I ever uh, met you guys. Looks like a case that you'd uh, see a ventriloquist dummy in. It is kind of. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it, that's one of those old somewhat school. apropos. Yeah, oh, okay. Apropos. Yeah, yeah. I see. It's like a master pole. <laughs> 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 it's apropos. So, but you'll see in a moment. The first time I met you guys, the first question you asked me was, mm. what's it like? to do a prostate exam on somebody. Oh. And I said it's, I try to describe it with words, but it's hard to do. I said it feels sort of like a rubbery walnut. Oh my God, I oh cannot God. You have a picture believe of your heart on in there? <laughs> what you have in there. I think I know. But I think it's time, and every time I came in after that, uh -huh. I've had to do a fucking prostate exam on yes. somebody. I think and we're I, not allowed to do those anymore. What? Well, that's another thing we're just not allowed it's to do. crazy. Yeah, we can, right, if he's a doctor. He is uh, a doctor. He is a doctor. Well, he's God, a I hope we can do this. <laughs> well, I'm sure, I think I know what that is now. Okay. So so this what I'm going to do is I thought it would be fun for you guys to actually find out what it's really like to do a prostate exam. So yep. I brought you a prostate simulator. Right. A prostate simulator. Can we have sex with it? Look, yeah, exactly. Look at it. This is, ah! this is Peter Prostate, right, Chip? Oh, Fuck. God. Oh, my God. It's fucking pecker showing. <laughs> this is... Uh, what is this, Steve? This is a prostate simulator. That's hilarious. And uh, it's uh, a way I can insert... Different yes, prostates can. into this thing. Different prostates. See? Oh my and you god! You can feel what a normal prostate feels like. Let me see that one. Oh wow! Wow! Is that why does a, a prostate yep. have a big stick on it? That's so weird. <laughs> so, the uh, and what you do is uh, I've got gloves and I've got lube and I figure you guys can do one. I've got one that's cancerous too. Oh, oh god! god. So you can see what that feels like. Good. Because the digital <sighs> prostate exam, and I don't mean electronic. Well, digital yes. using your one digit is still the most sensitive way to uh, detect prostate cancer. Well, sensitive as far as that, but not very sensitive emotionally. <laughs> yeah, right. It's very insensitive. It's very insensitive. That guy's got a small little dick, too. Yeah, well, he's about that little, little, little ball. He's not happy. Why is his dick pointing this way? <laughs> he's laying on his stomach. So you could suck well, it while you're oh, doing the exam. Oh, okay, yeah. Because you can do it this way. Oh, okay. He's got really, flaccid. The, the, way, way, the way you do these is to have somebody bend over. That's right, the right. Way sure do, so Doc. You sure do. So who's you ever fucked that? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> that would be bad to fuck your prostate exam, dummy. Especially if you put the cancer prostate in there yeah. on purpose. <laughs> and I can't believe I answered that question seriously. No, no, no. I never actually fucked it. Now, how do you know you're positioning the prostate in the right spot when you put it in there to oh, try to fool the doctor in training? It has a track in here. It oh, it just, does? It only goes in one place, yeah. Okay, yeah. so you put it in there. Let me, so, get, a, let me get a picture of this. And then, me. and then... Bend over there. Is it, uh, is it fingerprint... <laughs> Fingerprint toward the belly or fingerprint toward the back? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at me! <laughs> All right. Okay. So it's which way it's, is it? To finger, down. Down. Finger, down. finger down. Finger down because that's where the prostate is. The prostate. And what are you doing? You're kind of just moving it back and forth? Yeah, the, fr the front part of the rectum is the back part of the prostate. Oh. Okay. Mm. So uh, when you have somebody who, who bend that, over, Walt you're going to... Yeah. <laughs> I think that was uh, trying to Please think. I know I'm very good with this stuff. <laughs> the, you, the, um, so Keats. you'll put your finger down, yes. and they're bending over in front of you, and then you can feel the prostate. You feel the right side, then the left, and then you feel the middle. And uh, if you want to do a prostatic massage, you would actually oh. uh, kind of squeegee down both sides Ooh. and then down through the middle. And then prostatic fluid will come out the end of the penis. They won't actually ejaculate. Oh, it'll right. just kind well, of they don't have an orgasm. Yeah, right, right. Typically, you just it's, you come and then she wipes off her gloves and in her Russian accent asks for her fucking extra gratuity. <laughs> <laughs> if you're looking for the medical way. If you do it properly, you hold a slide under there and collect some of that. Look at it under the microscope. Oh, you gotta like wipe some of the. If there's white blood cells in there, then that might be an indication of prostate um, infection. Oh, so that's, that's one way we can diagnose that. Oh. And then what do they do when uh, they now um, like 
pull it, pull out the finger and smear it on that yeah. thing. Uh, what, what you're uh, looking for there is stool. Uh huh. And uh, we have this uh, stuff called hemocult, which is paper that's impregnated with a uh, uh. chemical that when it comes in contact with blood, even in very minute amounts, oh. you can put a little developer on there and it'll turn blue. Oh. And uh, it's, uh, it's a test. You're just looking for it. If you see blood in someone's stool, it's an indication to look further. But well, most of the yeah. time, it's just caused by your stupid finger, you know, irritating their rectum. So, <laughs> yeah. wiping too hard. It's, it's not a or wiping straining too hard or hemorrhoids and stuff like that. It's oh, not man. a it's not a, a very accurate test for colon cancer at all. So yeah, that's why we recommend people over fifty get a colonoscopy. Wow. Or if you have a first degree relative with colon cancer, get it done ten years before they got it. So if you have somebody in your family got colon cancer at forty five, you need to get your first colon. Colonoscopy at 35. What if you think they was 20 when they got there? <laughs> yeah, what if you know someone who's 11 who got it? <laughs> and you got to get in there and check. <laughs> Going to make sure my fingers, my fingers aren't very sensitive. That's a one-year-old. <laughs> yeah, you got to get in there and root around with your oh, tongue. Oh, God, You're not your tongue. You can't sure use your tongue, you can you? Check. Dr. Steve. For lumps. <laughs> Not supposed to do that. I'm gonna do some. Jimmy's checking. gonna uh, sure. do a little prostate exam on the dummy here. Yeah, you rock it in here. All <laughs> 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 right. <laughs> no. We clunk, so we clunk our hacky heads. Uh, our hack heads again. <laughs> so to describe this for the radio oh, listener. Yes, this is yes. A, a human torso cut off at the waist. So it's and no the legs. boating accident. <laughs> but you don't really, you don't really need the dick and balls in there, Doctor. You do. Steve. What Why? are you supposed to suck while you're checking? <laughs> I quit smoking. I got to jelly. I could have done without the dick and balls. No, I like that. You just give it a little. He li li li. He li li li. He li 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 li. He li 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 li. I'm just tugging it. Wow. Jimmy's so putting gonna, his, uh, Jimmy's putting on his gloves. His I'm gonna gloves? give him a little lube. Hold on a second. We actually use KY. What do you? Uh oh. Oh look at this. Doctor Chip's gonna do something. Oh, oh, no. He's trying to put it on his oh, head. Howie. Oh, Howie ready. Mandel thing. Oh, sucker, it won't go. It won't go. Oh. That's why won't the glove go on my it head? It won't stretch over your head. You gotta really <laughs> pull it. Pull it more. Oh, you almost got it. <laughs> the wrong kind of gloves. Huh? Yeah, it's not that. <laughs> He's got a you know what else? yarmulke. Yeah. Watch this. This is going to be fucking hilarious. Ah, <laughs> ah, funny. Flew off. All right, right sorry. I didn't mean to fudge around. All right, here. He's lubing up. Lubing up my finger? How much yep. lube? Not Just, much, huh? What kind of lube is this? That's KY. You, oh, you don't want him uh, water soluble. Uh, driving home, squishing in the seat. Yeah, <laughs> not so too what, much. What do I do now? So now you grab the cock. Like, <laughs> <laughs> He's jerking it off. <laughs> Jimmy's jerking off the <laughs> dummy. You just tell him that's right. That's right. Relax. Yeah, that relaxes the sphincter. Okay. Now, all you have to do is insert your your finger, uh, face yeah, pad down, and insert it all the way in because the prostate's in there pretty far. Oh boy. And now. Ain't that and a shame? Using your index finger probably is better. Than yeah, that. he's I got his middle small. finger up there. Yeah, and uh, see if uh, just feel uh, <coughs> for two lobes. You may have a right lobe and a left lobe, and you should have a little kind of yeah, a little thing divider. In yeah, a little divider in between. And I'm feeling under him too. Oh, Ooh, nice. Ow. Oh, he's not going to like the turn. <laughs> Now he's just now he's spank, <laughs> yeah, spanking the torso. Don't move. Add a boy. How much? Yeah, how, how much do you want? Three hundred and fifty thousand now. Very yeah. boyish. That's like a Sam Roberts uh, yeah. body. Yeah. That How's that has feel? There. I got it. I got it. All right. <laughs> Let me. Wow, you're yeah. not. Uh oh, a new prostate coming in. Yeah, there's a new prostate. A new pro now uh -oh. you're supposed to lick your finger after. <laughs> they're, they're, they're going to the bullpen for a new prostate. <laughs> Here's one. There he has, comes. Uh, a prostatic nodule. So this would be one that would uh -oh. prompt you to uh, uh, do a uh, uh, a biopsy. See uh -oh. if you can feel the difference. Uh -oh. So Jimmy is uh, pr very. Uh, I hate my fingers is too. Is it squishy? No, it's it's, it's just kind of it's like a hard rubbery. How come that good one has a little lump on it? Well, this one is. Uh, I don't know. Uh oh. They don't know. I mean, he's he got... doesn't know which one is cancerous or not. <laughs> you just realized he's been giving the wrong advice for thirty years. All these healthy prostates he are now in the garbage can. This gets... one has a very small irregularity on it. This one actually has a prostatic lump on it. Oh, can God. you feel it? Can't nope. feel it. You nope. prostatic lump. It's not so lump. fucking easy, is it? Wait. All right. Oh wow. <laughs> Wait. 
No, I, I, I think I just knocked the thing out. Check with your dick. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> she fixed that? <laughs> oh, shit. Well, obviously that God one has damn, problems. That's the elephant <laughs> man of prostate. What the fuck? <laughs> Look at that thing. It looks How like much time does that guy have? <laughs> this one. What is that? What that is, is that? looks like cauliflower. Yeah, this one is uh, oh, stage four prostate cancer. Oh, my God. Okay, it's on top, right? Top, on on yep. the top on that yep. side. Uh, top on the right. Yep, very good. That is not right. Not at all. How do yeah. you not notice that? Yeah, you'd notice that. Yeah, you could see well. that through his jeans. You don't even have to poke your finger in there. <laughs> Wait, just, you feel the difference? Oh, the whole thing is hard. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard and have it's you rocky. Like this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. Does the guy make it? Uh, that, mm, Can you make oh. it if it's, it looks like yeah, that? Yeah, you know, That's this is the thing about prostate cancer is that it's detectable. And it's treatable, and most mean, people don't die from it. It doesn't even take, look like a prostate anymore. If you, uh, well, it's not. Yeah, it's just a Terrible. tumor. Oh, it's a tumor. It's not the tumor. But if you, uh, uh, if you did an autopsy on every guy over seventy-five, about half of them would have early signs of prostate cancer. That's what they say, anyway. Anybody oh. else want to try this? It's not supposed to live yeah, that you long. Yeah, do it. It feels weird. Mm. Come it's on, right. you're missing out. <laughs> not really. Okay. You did it. All right. There's my great. quarter You're hour. Out. That was amazing. I promised a quarter hour. That was amazing. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Sam Roberts, you want to shove your finger up? Sam? Um, I will. Sam right. wants to trade places with the fucking prosthetic. <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, I brought you guys some gifts, too. Oh, All good. Right, cool. What is this that? This is um, safe, sanitary, and secure. Uh-oh, emergency underpants. So there Let you go. Just say. in case, because we're all oh, getting a little wow. older. Wow, look at that. It's like uh, uh -oh. one of those t-shirts that have folded up really tight. Oh, wait, you but it's... The... Why do you need emergency underpants? Well, I don't know. You, you never know if yourself. you <laughs> soil your undies and you... Was this a Dr. Steve product? That's Are you going good. after Tony Saragusa? No, this is uh, Archie McPhee's product. Oh, know Archie McPhee you know what? You could just keep it right in the old top pocket. <laughs> yeah. And if you need some clean yeah. undies, and you got to put it in with yeah. your okay. index finger and go, oh. just tap it down. Oh, I got some. <laughs> or perhaps you could carry it behind, behind your ear. Your ear. <laughs> that would be good. These should be gifts we give to John Mealy. <laughs> he's, giving... uh, he's here, by the way. So we oh, should take he? a break. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dr. Geez. Steve's hanging right, with us. With a... Yeah, that was yeah, great, yeah, actually. Cool. Dr. Steve, hang around, though. Yeah. Yeah, of we course, Steve around. Hang around. All right. Uh, John McGinley is here, and we'll talk to him next. Stay there. I want to messages. We'll be right back. All right. Well, that sucked. To hear the Opie and Anthony show five days a week, live on satellite radio, online on your phone or tablet, or even on demand, go to SiriusXM.com. Also, interact with the Opie and Anthony show on Twitter, at Opie Radio, at Anthony Cumia, and at Jim Norton.